What are you doing on Memorial Day weekend? Well, forget that, because Comic Palooza 2015 is almost here. At Comic Palooza, you'll see your favorite celebrities, comic book creators, and authors. Hear super cool musical acts. Experience crazed cosplay events. Rowdy professional wrestlers. Raucous roller derby girls. Literally thousands of hours of programming and so much more. Celebrity guests appearing at Comic Palooza this year include Jeremy Renner. That's right, Hawkeye from The Avengers. Stars of the hit Fox series Gotham. Star Trek's George Takei. Oh my. The Fonz himself, Henry Winkler. A. Comic book superstar Stan the Man Lee. And of course, me, Kyle Abair, that anime and video game voice actor guy. Follow Comic Palooza on social media on Twitter at Comic Palooza, Instagram at Houston Comic Palooza, and like us on Facebook to keep up with amazing guest announcements as they happen. Remember, Comic Palooza at the George R. Brown Convention Center in Houston, Texas, Memorial Day weekend, May 22nd to 25th. Get your passes today. Head over to www.comicpalooza.com for all the details. That's right, folks. When we're giving away a, a family four pack of four day passes. Welcome back to the nerdery. I'm JD. I'm Jimmy. And Chris. And we have my wife with us again tonight for a a guest comic book review. But first, I'm going to toss it over to Chris because you have all the details on the giveaway. Yes, I do. Um, again, we went over this last week. We uh, we posted up on the website. Um, again, right here, we need you to post. On our Facebook page, there's a certain post we have that's pinned to the top that um, you need to comment on there with the tag, Houston Nerds Unite, and tell us who you're wanting most to see there that is their current roster of guests. Now, you can also do this on our Twitter. Same thing on the Twitter. Uh, that's either or, not both. You don't have to you know go over tagging everywhere. Um uh, get on our Twitter. Uh, obviously, follow us, like us, share us, everything. Um, tag us at Nerdy Official, and uh, same thing with the hashtag Houston Nerds Unite. Tell us who you're wanting to see at Comic Palooza. Contest has already started. It is still going, and you have until May 9th at midnight uh, to reply. Uh, that'll that'll finish it off. We're going to announce the winner. The following day on May 10th. Uh, I saw Lance got on our Facebook, and uh, he actually he actually wants to meet Stan Lee. Well, I'm pretty sure yes. all of us <laughs> here are anxious about that. <laughs> that is a cross no the <laughs> Yeah, so, hey, guy, we're, we're right there with you, and thanks for entering. Um, uh, Chris, what else you got for us? Uh, I finally have uh, some anime and manga today. Um, not much on the video games, Um this time, I finally have a little bit on the Bloodborne. I haven't finished it. I don't think I'll finish it. <laughs> um, that was by request, I heard, uh, for the Bloodborne. Yeah, I actually talked to somebody on the street. There we go. And wanted to know some more about <laughs> it, so. Yeah. Uh, got, got a little bit of that. Got the got some got new mangas I've started, uh, amongst a lot more uh, that I'll be reading. Um, in, and a good block of anime that I've already watched and here to review. Well, what's this big old cardboard box you got here? That's what I was going to ask. I also now have a Marvel Collector Core, their very first box. It is like Loot Crate, except this one comes uh, every two months. It is exclusive, nothing but Marvel. And they're, they're licensed with Funko. Yes, they are yes. brought to you by Funko, the yes. makers of Pop Vinyl. Exactly. Uh, I got that here. Now I'm going to open it live and look at all the goodies. I said we make them wait on that. What else you got? <laughs> <laughs> I'll jump right into uh, In anticipation. To, uh, I'll jump right into oh, anime. Yeah. Uh, I recently got a hold of um, uh, a newer arc. I think it was uh, Berserk the Golden, the Golden Arc, I believe. Um, that's wow. That's brutal. No, hold on a second. Um, I've watched the anime. Yes, and I did play. The video game for Dreamcast. Oh, just because. Oh, yeah, I hunted okay. that. I hunted that bastard down just to play it. Nice. nice. And uh, now this this is going to take place after the this anime. This is way right? way, way after. after. This okay. this uh, this new anime. 
Uh, it's newer. It's not brand new. It is newer. Whoa, whoa, this is an anime? Yes, it's I thought anime. we're talking about manga. Oh, no, crap, this, one, this, this one's an awesome. anime. I watched it all in one sitting. All of it. It's, I mean, there's not that many episodes. But, wow, still with the brutal. Yeah. Still. Uh, not going to go over too many details. I don't like to do spoilers, <laughs> but um, I like the animation better. Uh, it looks like, I mean, if you were to play it on a higher refresh rate uh, HD TV, I mean, it looks... Super smooth, super clean. Um, same, so your same main character. He's in there. Uh, different time period, actually. Different whole time period. It, but it goes back and forth. Hmm. It goes back and forth. So you're watching this with the the Blu-ray technology, of course. Oh, okay. <laughs> I do most of my things on the PS4. There you go. <laughs> but uh, yes, I, I I watched that. I watched it in its entirety. Um, that I'm gonna give a, a solid four joysticks on that one. Um, uh, there wasn't much to the story, but I think they wanted to throw this one out there um, to add to a little bit or, or possibly start a whole new storyline. I'm not too sure, but I'm gonna keep up with them and follow that. Um, let's see. I started on um, a couple of different mangas, but uh, I'm gonna have to go back and. Let's see, this time, I'm going to cover High School D&D. Ooh. This is, uh, it's, it's, it's very different. They do have the anime. The whole anime is already out. Everybody can watch it. It's, it's everywhere. Well, how different is it? Um, well, it's definitely not hentai. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely not hentai, but, I mean, it, hentai's hentai. I'm not watching... I'm not watching that for, you know, I can watch, I can go to some other triple X site to watch yeah, some of that we, good we stuff. We don't need to know. talk about that. We don't need to talk about all that, but, yeah. <laughs> um, it's, it's a, it's, it's a take on, uh, a different role of the good versus evil in which it's not, you're not really a vampires. You're, your good guys are devils. Hmm. The protagonist is a group of devils that have, that make and find their own devil slaves like a vampire would. They they find they find their their worthy slave and just kill him, just straight kill him. But they turn him in also to a devil. But they're theirs, huh. like, a, like a vampire. But I mean, they're just devils. They're straight up devils. So it's like a familiar, like a familiar. Yeah, yeah, pretty much like that. Um, they still, I mean, they all have their human <clears throat> characteristics though. So there's, oh, no, there's, a lot, there's a lot of emotion and everything. There's a lot of the cutesy, you know, fan service and stuff with all that stuff, too. But same thing in the manga. I want to be honest with you on this. Hmm? I, I would rather have my blood sucked for me and turned into a vampire than be killed and turned into a demon. I, you know what? I'd, I'd, I'd rather be killed and turned into a demon. Yeah, but well, you're, you're a wicked individual, so... Yes, I'm very wicked. <laughs> I'm very wicked. Uh, lots of displays of their powers. Uh, a lot of evil, but... Again, the, the the roles are reversed. It's these devils are the good guys. They're going against um, the bad guys, which is a holy clan. Hmm. Everybody that the, the, these, these exorcists, these priests, and all these guys—they are the bad guys. Actually, mm. it's 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 weird. You got to read them. Obviously, I'm going to say that you got to read it, or or obviously watch the anime. Uh, a lot more is described in the manga, though. A lot more is described in the manga. Uh, I'm, I'm giving that straight up five joysticks. Nice, straight up good, okay. good artwork. Um, uh, everybody knows your manga is all black and white. It's like a comic, but it doesn't look sloppy like some of them that I've read. Looks damn good. Looks damn good. Um, let's see. Well, you uh, went to the movies Friday morning. Oh, oh do you man. really want them to do this? <laughs> I don't want them to do a full like in depth review because oh, I know there's a lot of people out there listening. I know y'all haven't gone and seen it yet. Neither have I. Neither is Jimmy. Boo. Neither is my wife. Well, we, I, we weren't off Friday morning. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I got to go see Age of Ultron. I purchased mine on Fandango on my phone last week just to make sure I could get in because I knew I was off. Um, yeah, of course. They obviously, packed theater. Matter of fact, I just read today uh, they made uh, the number two uh, number two world record of uh, openings ever. Yeah, opening World, weekend. Worldwide, opening weekend, number two. What was number one? Ever. Did you see? No. The first one. What was number one? 
The first one. The, the first, first one was number one. <laughs> was number one. Yes. Wow. For the highest grossing opening weekend. Really? Yes. Oh wow. Okay. Well, there we go then. There we go. Um, they they still man. didn't make enough to to overshadow the Manny Pacquiao and and make the fight because <laughs> you know. Anyway, I, I'm sure oh, you, mean the, you mean that little huggy, huggy wrestling match they that did? Was, that was so <laughs> We weren't watching it. We were we were rubbing no. elbows with other people from the industry. Yes. Other nerds. Yes. That's right. Well, uh, first off, that's I mean, if I could go higher than five joysticks, it's definitely there. Uh, I would give it ten if possible. Straight up. Wow. Um, I've, I've been a fan of Vision for a long time. They got to him. They they got to, he showed his display of power, and that by far was the best. Uh, I mean, obviously CGI, but yeah, best 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 scene. Best one of the best fight scenes I've ever seen, with a display of uh, cosmic power. Ooh, what? Ah, what? Yes. <laughs> exactly. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but oh, I wanted wow. to say I okay. had to say that fight scene though. Uh, everything else, you see a little bit of a. Uh, uh, lovey dovey between two people. It's just very awkward. Um, I mean, it doesn't show anything, but it's 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 funny. They make it very very comical. Um, uh, I would. I'm going to go see it again. I'm going to go see it at a prime <laughs> theater that is an HDX uh, broadcast uh, with uh, uh, lounge chair seats. Oh yes. That oh. that is my quick little. I mean, non spoiled uh, review. Okay. Yes. And okay and. What were we all busy doing yesterday? What was yesterday? Mm, yesterday was free comic book day. That's right, baby. Um, we we went down to our buddy uh, Jay's All Star All Star Comics uh, Cards and Games. There we go. Yes, there we go. Uh, over there in the San Jacinto Mall in Baytown, uh, we were all there early. We were there bright and early when they opened the doors. We saw all the lovely smiling faces come rushing in. To get free comic books. How can you not smile when you're coming to get? Free oh comic well, books? you know everybody. Like I did not see one person who was who seemed a, even a little bit depressed. Everybody I, was happy. I thought it was astounding to walk in the door and walk in through the back and look out out towards the front door and see people waiting in line to get in the store. Yeah, just to get their free comics. Now you got a picture of a of a little Thor. That was out front, didn't you? Chris? No, it was a Captain America. Captain yes, America. I have, uh, pictures. I'm, I was going to actually announce. I was I have some pictures uh, from the event, and I was going to post them and tag All Star, and uh, post them and uh, the, the, those few on the Facebook also. Nice, yes. nice. So we were there giving away uh, business cards uh, mm-hmm. with information on how to get into the contest to get Comic Palooza passes. That's right, sir. And uh, uh, we we all pretty much made out with a with a pretty good haul for free comic book oh, day, yeah, of course. Um, I actually don't have one of those that one of the free comics to review. Um, I, I just didn't have enough time to read everything. I have an amazing stack just from this week to read. So, but but what did you get that you are going to review though? Oh, I got something from Last Century Comics. That's S E N T R Y, not Century, but Century. Uh, I got Liberty. It's it's actually something they did uh, ten years ago. And the, and it's real removed from what they're doing right now, but I, I read it and you want them to bring it back? Yes, I do, dude. I haven't even read that thing. I just flipped through it, and it's like it's like my buddy Chuck said. You know, it looks very Kirby esque. Yes, it does. And and, uh, <clears throat> and and Jack Kirby, you know that that for the longest time that was like he, he, he was set the gold the, standard. He set the gold standard for comic book art. Well, um, Patrick and Travis were both down there, uh, two writers for Last Century, and we both we, we talked to them a great deal, and uh, we do plan on getting at least one of them on the show for y'all someday. Oh, Once uh, yeah. everything uh, slows down a little bit for us, we're all kind of got our hands tied with a lot of stuff right now. Yes. But they are more than willing, and they can't wait to be on the show with us. Nice. So, Is that what they said? Yeah. Nice. He's, he's more than eager because man, I, man, I, I love your stuff. I, I want more. I want more. And what is coming? What, what are they bringing to Comic Palooza? GI Bro is going to be dropping for Comic Palooza <laughs> and Stalker Number Two. Now I haven't read my Stalker yet. I will be reading it probably tonight I or didn't tomorrow. Get, I didn't get to read a, this. That's what I'm going to review. I didn't get to read all of it, uh, but I did. I did get fairly far into the book and flipped a little bit 
through the last pages. Looks awesome. Uh, it's just time constrained. I don't want to be distracted during the cast. Yeah. Um, well, let's I get will... back over to Chris because man, you got a lot of stuff, man. I got uh, I got a uh, release date of uh, the new manga, uh, Tokyo Ghoul. Uh, that has been oh God. That's been randing and raving over in Japan, uh, other other countries as well. Uh, the digital version I posted this earlier for the bookshelves is June sixteenth, but you can get your digital manga out. It's already out now. Wow. Yes, that's number one, Tokyo Ghoul. See, and, and with most of your, uh, like, DC and Marvel, you can get in print before you can get digital. Exactly. So, well, with Marvel, you can buy print and get digital with the print. Correct. Uh, Same day. DC does that as well. Yeah. But now, if you're only following digital, as in, you know, the Marvel app or even Comixology, if you're only doing just strict digital, yeah, you, you got to wait, wait a little for bit. Some. you got to wait yeah. for some of those releases. Yeah. Yes. Um, what else? Okay, here we go. Bloodborne. Bloodborne for PS4. My God, that is freaking hard. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. I almost broke my second controller. First one was on Destiny. My God. No Destiny rant this week either, folks. Um, <laughs> okay. That's two weeks without a Destiny rant, man. Yeah, because mainly because I'm waiting for the expansion. That is May 19th again. House of Wolves for Destiny. Uh, man, Bloodborne, God. It, what I can say, though, is it made me want to go buy another another newer, bigger TV to play it on with a better refresh rate. I'm serious. Wow. Like, that is the, the most beautiful game I have ever laid eyes on and, and played. Most nice. beautiful game. Very scary, gothic settings. Old school. I mean, you, I mean it's if, if you didn't look at your main character... Uh, and and some of the other characters in it, I mean, you would have thought it was, it's a it's a tale of Jack the Ripper. Oh, that, and it, it literally made you feel like it's, it's like man, there's going to be people walking around here all sickly and everything. Well, they are because you got to kill them. Oh, it's very brutal, very brutal. Um, you are a a hunter of the diseased. Okay, and some of those diseased turn into monsters. Uh, some of the ones I've 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 come across are um, Frankenstein esque uh, beasts and big ass werewolves. Oh, and it is hard. I'm talking about it. You, it is it is straight up hard. The hardest game ever. Huh. So it, it's it's kind of a take on the idea of uh, Van Helsing going after going yeah, after yeah. the beasts and the, but but flipped. Yeah, pretty much, you've pretty much. It, it, the it beasts feels like number that. you. It feels like that tale. Yes, it feels like that tale. Um, the upgraded system. Uh, I mean, I can't describe it. It is extremely hard to 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 describe the RPG style leveling of system. But for fans of the Dark Souls games, it's by the same maker. Hmm. Didn't know if you know that. And this Bloodborne. Somehow, I haven't figured it out yet, but it ties into the Dark Souls games. So, if you're a fan of the also very extremely high, high difficulty dead, uh, Dark Souls games, get it. Get the game. Um, I don't have much to review on, but preliminarily, I'm going to go with a 3.5, 3.5 joysticks, and that's mainly on the graphics. Okay. Um... I am being a little biased because, I mean, I, for the most part, I get games for fun factor, playability, and replayability. Replayability is, is a real big thing for me. Yeah. This game, uh, this game's, I can already tell this, but replayability on this is going to be once. Just okay. one time. That's You're not going to have the patience time. to go through it again. Absolutely not. Got well, you. Absolutely not. Got you. That's just, that is just me, though, but there are, there are fans out there like the Dark Souls games. They take a year to beat because of the difficulty. That's solely. Go ahead, be my guest. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounds like a challenging game. So, I mean, some people out there, like you said, they are up for a challenge and they want to do it. Let me put it this way. You got two weapons. You can't block. You don't have a shield. Oh, my. That's... So it's it's move and strike. That's the, that's the best thing you got. Wow. Whew. And if we find better weapons... But you really don't. <laughs> Man. Wow. All right, yeah. well, uh, 
I want you to go ahead and open that uh, box for us. Dude, yeah, I, I, I guess. I, What's I in the some, box? I got some discussion stuff for us that I actually want to tackle in the first half. Because, uh, Chris, you won't be here for our second half. Yes, yeah, so i got to get everything out right now because uh, i got to go. I work tomorrow. So uh, yeah. I want to I get some discussion stuff out of the way in, uh, our, in our first half there tonight. There we go. Real quick. Come on. All right. Let's see what's in that. What's in the box? There's old uh, comic print here. On the inside Iron of the box. The inside to start with is uh, official Marvel Collector Core pin. Old school Captain America pin. Very nice. I like that. I like that. And this is everything again. This is official Marvel licensing with Funko also. And a patch with Ultron. <laughs> Ultron. Yeah, you know. You the know Ultron me. patch for Collector Core. <laughs> nice. And this this one's actually by Funko with Marvel also. I'm seeing it. Oh, man. Alright. Alright, now bring bring out that big one right there. The box exclusive that you cannot buy in stores, not unless you might look on eBay sometime later. Or somebody decides to sell theirs off. Pop vinyl pop number seventy three. Number seventy three, the largest pop vinyl and heaviest, so they have said on Twitter. Release. The Avengers Age of Ultron Hulk Buster. Extra right. large. I see the, feel the weight of this. Oh man, that yeah, it's this this thing is pretty girthy, folks. Oh, girthy. Girthy. It's horrible. <laughs> that, is, that is pretty awesome, man. I'm digging it. I see you got a, you got oh, a shirt in there. Um, this one this one here, here, this one's new to me. Um, it's Marvel Avengers Age of Ultron. Uh, obviously, this box's theme is Avengers. Um, is that a money? Dorbs. Exclusive Collector Core mm-hmm. Dorbs mm-hmm. vinyl figure, huh. which is an Ultron. Um... Let me see. It looks here. like a like it might be uh, a. They're under vinyl sugar. I haven't heard of them, but looks like more collectibles. They do have series, uh, Marvel series one and Guardians of the Galaxy. Huh. Coming soon. Pass looks like a, it's it's. Pass that around. Kind of like a, a mighty mug or a pop vinyl, but it's, oh, it's yeah. smaller. Mighty mug. I remember those. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have a couple of those. Yeah, yeah more than a couple. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've got about seven. Uh, okay, uh, I do have a shirt. They, they oh, you, sign for, you sign up for a shirt. You can, uh, you pick on there which uh, size, and they save it. Um, nice. It's 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 a big collab of all kinds of things, but they made they made an old old school Ultron looking. Uh, oh wow! Uh, art on here. That goes over, you know, to this branded, you know, collector's core and everything. But flip it so you can that see the rest nice. of it. Let's flip see. It. Let's see what's up. It's Iron Man versus oh. Ultron. Iron Man versus nice. Ultron. Nice. I love that. It's like a fight poster. That's that's freaking cool. Yeah, yeah which yeah. You, you yeah, exactly. There you go. That's perfect description. Yeah. Right there. There's there's actually a lot of those uh, pictures going around right now. Yeah. Uh, Batman versus Superman. Oh. Uh, mm-hmm. Avengers versus uh, Ultron. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hulk versus Hulk versus, Buster. Yes. Yeah. I see a lot of those floating around on the internet right yeah. now. There we go. It's awesome. Dude. There's there's a lot. There's This whole box is filled with uh, all this um, old school old comic school, book art. Yeah, man. old school art. It's, all, it's just red inked. We still got good enough time? Oh, yeah. You, you, we still got a little bit of time. Uh, we got Anna chatting with us. Um she oh. wants picks, or it didn't happen. Oh yes, there will be picks. I'm <laughs> yes, there will be picks. That's my baby. And uh, she says, <laughs> she says, spoiler alert, please. Hey, we didn't spoil anything, folks. <laughs> oh no, this is the, the, all this info is actually available online. It's I, not like I a, think she's, I think uh, she's talking about the movie. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> you may have oh gone no. A little far. Oh no, that was a. Uh, oh no, that was nothing compared to everything you'll see in the movie. How Don't worry, that? we made sure Kat, Chris kept it from spoiling. Oh yes. yeah, Chris kept it from spoiling anything for Last us. Last thing on here, uh, Guardians team up. <laughs> Guardians team up the Avengers variant. Number one. Number one. Ooh. Yes. And you got you got uh, the Falcon cap. And uh, yep. Peter Female Quill Thor. at the Female, very top. Female Thor. Yeah. So Peter I, Quill. Yeah. And Falcon at the top. The Guardians. I see Drax. I see Rocket, of course. Groot. Uh, Iron Man's on there. Uh, yeah, the new Iron Man. The uh, oh well, symbiote armor Iron Man. Yes. From oh, from Superior. Superior. Yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's a Spider Man. It appears. Man, that's cool. Uh, I don't know which Spider-Man that is. What is it? My goodness. I mean, I'm going to pass this. Now, look at the back. Look what's coming. Uh, let's see here. The oh, A-Force. Secret Wars. Secret Wars A-Force. All women. Actually, that's not Spider-Man. That is the Flash Thompson Venom. 
Oh, okay, okay. Ah, mm-hmm. He has no legs. Yes. I have the legs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Pick uh, picture incoming. Yeah, he's going. He yeah. he'll probably be posting them here in just a few minutes. Discussion. Go for it. All right. Now I got a, some discussion set, stuff. Set this up. Um, once again, we're back to. I'm, I'm seeing a whole lot of Marvel versus DC arguments online, <laughs> and um, yeah. I, I see a lot of com- a lot of complaints about Marvel not <laughs> really merchandising their females very much. Yeah. And okay, now last week. I said I was really happy that... that well, wait a minute. Case in point. I was about to say that. Back case of the book, in point right man. there. Yeah. The A-Force. Yes. A-Force well, is coming. Well, I'm talking as far as Age of Ultron goes. Uh, Scarlet Witch, Black Widow, you're not seeing a whole lot of merchandise for them. Yeah. Is, I'm seeing oh, a lot of people complain merch. about that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm seeing that, that a lot. Especially now, when you're talking comparatively. Yeah. That is true. Last week, true. Uh, hmm. the all-new X-Men uh, came out in which uh, the Bobby Drake from the past... Is gay and they openly addressed it, and I, I was really happy to see that because we are supporters of the gay community, you know. And comics is is a part of society. If you if you want to make it a norm, it has to be norm everywhere. Right. Comics is 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 part of society, so it needs to be made a norm in comics. So I was really excited to see Marvel do that with a mainline hero, something that they they have kind of skirted around. They've done a lot of supporting characters. But not a mainline hero, as where DC has been taking it full force. And they pulled it off well. They, yes, they, they have. Pulled it off well. Now, I will say this. You know, I'm seeing that argument about, you know, Black Widow and the Scarlet Witch and them not being merchandised very much. Well, DC has an answer for that. DC is put bringing out a whole another label. It's DC Superhero Girls. It's going to be a whole another label, pretty much. Cartoons, comics, games, everything, and it's going to be based on the heroines of the DC universe. You know what else? Uh, I'm I'm not too sure on this. I have to look into it, but I believe I saw some stuff posted online about uh, Lego going in to doing a series based on the female superheroes of the Marvel universe, and I believe maybe even the DC universe. And gearing them towards a female audience, kind of like their Friends line, okay, or their new Fairies line, and uh, they're they're going to have the characters done up like the female minifigs from those series, and gear them towards the younger female audience. Okay, all right. So there well, that's, there's something. There's some merchandising some. out there. They're they're gearing it up, man. They're trying to get it going. Okay. Well, I mean, I was just once again DC just on that Buzz. on that cutting edge of you know let's make it a norm. Well, they had that e- the the letter from a little girl. Uh, I want to say her name was uh, Rowan. They had a letter from her probably about nine months ago about how come I don't see more uh, women in comics. Well, what DC did is they took pictures of her and they made her into a superhero. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's really awesome. I saw the pictures of it. Yeah, and well, cool. DC is taking taking all this stuff in our society and they're they're confronting it head on. So, man, it just once again, I'm, I'm blown away with how loving DC is to people. Yeah, no, they they, they that's very cool. They are uh, they're very, uh, I, I think they're very oriented towards their audience, and they're trying to get on the right track with what the audience wants. Um, Convergence, from what you're telling me, is gearing up to be some awesome stuff, man. Yeah, you're. There's, there's so much stuff going on, and uh, Convergence Number Four dropped this past Wednesday. And I just finished it. We'll build, we will. I will be reviewing it in our second half. We got about a minute left, so I'm gonna shove something else in your ear holes. I think Chris is gonna run out on us. So uh, yeah, we'll be back in a half hour, and y'all take a listen to this right here. Bye. Comic Palooza 2015 is almost here. You'll see your favorite celebrities, comic book creators, and authors. Hear super cool musical acts. Experience crazed cosplay events, rowdy professional wrestlers, raucous roller derby girls, literally thousands of hours of programming, and so much more. Remember, Comic Palooza at the George R. Brown Convention Center in Houston, Texas. Memorial Day weekend, May 22nd to 25th. Get your passes today. Head over to www.comicpalooza.com for all the details. 
love that my girl misses All right, Anna, um, <laughs> there's a picture now up on our Facebook, so that should make you plenty happy. There you go, baby. Uh, Check out the stuff. It's all awesome. All right, we'll be back in a half hour. Uh, hope to listen to y'all then or y'all listen.